Tisn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. We shall be ill prepared for battle if we rest over much. There, Master! Go hardness! Ice attacks work wonders against Beryl. I shall heal you at once. Hold to me, please. nigh invincible i did my best to match your skill master if your pack grows over full simply ask me to sell off your surplus i this isn't the way to our destination but i presume you've a new one in mind who are you uh, no never mind it is of little import I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. Let me get that. I'll lead the way. Here we are. Are none of us alike in vocation. One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Well, have you found any blue crystal shards? Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them. Here, take your coin and be gone. Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline substance from which tis made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns, that is. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult. We've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. Tis possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or some such. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell you no more than that. Tis possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers. Mayhap one such as the Oracle.
Over here, if you please. You are full of surprises. I look forward to informing my own master. Now that is a surprise. Ice's stick is yours to wield. Well done. Fear not. I shall aim you. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Furthermore, we could add a warrior to our ranks. What say you, master? Their mighty attacks could easily swing the tide of battle. Battle in our favor. Rest assured, master. You'll hear nary an idle word from me. Are you fit to travel? <sighs> A common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. <sighs> y 
Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. There will be other opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Since times of Elder, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap, and I shall harness it to your benefit. Tis for ye to determine what that bond constitutes, be it a hapless fate or a curious boon. The dragon is the embodiment of destructive force, though this does not mean that it is evil. Understand this. The concepts of good and evil are mortal inventions, and thus cannot be applied to the dragon. It is a being of a higher order, as are ye. Now that the dragon has marked ye, setting ye apart from your fellows. The Arisen is a transcendent being, always chosen by the dragon. It marks for itself the individual who must fell it. Thus, when the dragon is made manifest, so too is an arisen. And should that arisen fall, another shall rise in their place. The cycle is doomed to continue till the dragon is felled. For that is what the will of this world has ordained. I am the husk of he who was once arisen. My final battle against the dragon culminated in the loss of the will that should have seen me bring the creature low. Thus, as the Arisen is defined by the strength of their will, from that moment on I was Arisen no longer. Such is the world's will. I dare say it compels me e'en now to impart upon ye all the knowledge I possess. Ye need not seek the dragon. It will find ye. Aye, make no mistake. The dragon will appear before ye when the time is come. Still, I suppose I can tell ye about a rumor I heard the other day. Apparently, a dragon was sighted in Harv Village, though I am not sure I believe it. After all, now that ye have been marked as arisen, the dragon ought next appear before ye at the appointed time. So it stands to reason that e'en if a creature of draconic aspect and destructive powers did appear in that village, t'was no dragon. A mockery of one, perhaps, but not the dragon true. The Godswain? Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batal came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Faces, sir, I believed he called himself. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world, 
through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. The substance of which ye speak is formed of crystallized droplets of dragon blood. Worm's life crystals can be obtained not only from the true red dragon, but from lower drakes as well. They retain a measure of draconic power, and when used correctly, will bestow upon ye powers that eclipse the will of this world. Then go, but visit me again when ye have spilled draconic blood. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap and I shall harness it to your benefit. Then I bid ye farewell, and safe travels. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Boy, what's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermont? <laughs> Bet you're as prejudiced as the rest of your lot. Well, got something you want to say, eh? Save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. All you've got to do is prove your mettle against these sods alone, that is. If you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? Put your back into it! Well now, quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. Tis not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel, one on one? What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm. That's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not crossed. But I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us, aye? Oi, bring it out! Where's that reprobate gotten off to? We'll see if you can escape me a second time. I don't believe it. You're a bloody menace, you are. Come on, you lot. We're leaving.
Fine work that was. Pray, save your thanks. I've no need of it. After all, judging by the skill with which you won that duel just now, I dare say you'd have bested those louts even if I hadn't intervened. I suppose that coward knew he was no match for you in a fair fight, so he had that beast take the beating for him. At any rate, tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. Of course, I can't promise I'll be as amicable then. As a sellsword, tis my policy to let my employer decide friend from foe. I'm sure you understand. Till next time. I cannot help but wonder about that Sir Ragnall. Who is he, really? I have no answer to give. Doesn't seem like you and I are going to be sharing a drink anytime soon. A shame that. Tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. As I've said, I'm a sellsword. Perhaps our next meeting will be on the battlefield, eh? I'd not say no to the chance to prove my mettle against yours. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. This should be of use. Then open. Focus your attacks. Focus attack will end this foe. I fear I shall lose sight of you if you go much further. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. I knew you would come, a risen one. You seek answers, and you shall have them, if tis within my power to know them. I simply do. The life force of the arisen is wreathed in a warmth all its own. Tis most distinctive. And I am able to perceive it. Such is how I came to know of your arrival in this world, Arisen. Wherever you go, I can find you. Tis a most useful ability, as I'm sure you will agree. 
Of course, it ill suited the Queen Regent and her plots. Loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact of which you speak, though I shall tell you aught I can. I sense a land soaked in warmth, a warmth akin to your own arisen, to that of the power of the life you possess. Yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea, in a place unreachable by mortal hands. Though it is strange, for I sense also that this warmth grows ere near. It would seem a path will be open to you in time, allowing you to venture into the heart of this warmth so like your own. Perhaps he who was Dragonforged can tell you more. Seek him out in Harv Village, if you would learn from him. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. He who was Dragonfall... I enjoy tackling fierce foes and... Pre for co Never have too many materials. I'll harvest some now. About time you came along. I have a special tale to share with you today. Or so I'd like to say, but it is getting rather late. Best spend the night. We can talk again come the morn. Ah, good. <laughs> You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with fair skies like these, eh? <laughs> now, I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? Aye, I'm quite sure I mentioned it. But I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his armies safeguard him even in death. As he himself would have it, he was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single person alive who remembers his name. Oh, it sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, tis all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget and to be forgotten. I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember everything, every little detail. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth, as you well know. Come see me again, if it pleases you. I've tales aplenty to share. Heavens, Fend. I'd ne'er seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. Twas... 
magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these before I head back in there, I fear. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray North Grave shall come of it. Yon structure yet lies on the water. Tis strange to think that it slumbered beneath the surface all this time. Curiously, it does not seem to be of mortal make. It seems aught has occurred within the depths of Stormwind Cave. But what, I wonder? I have no answer to give. It was most queer to... All I say is true. Why should I lie? Over here, if you please. Though you wouldn't know it, to look at me now. I'll thank you to keep your distance. Though you wouldn't know it, I am only here to fell. I care not who you are. There was a time I... For what it's worth, thanks. Though you wouldn't know it, mayhap we... That's it! Though you wouldn't know it, to look at me now. I care not who you... That's it! There was a time I might... It's been a hard day. What you need of me? Well met, son. How might I be of service? We're unlikely to find any warm hearths down here. Proceeding ill-prepared invites an early grave. Understood. I grant your 
your weapon a magical boon? Certainly arisen. How might I be of aid? This calls for a curative. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. I'll collect that. You needn't trust. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. We cannot break it from this side. I understand. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. We must be ready for anything. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. So, another comes seeking to inter me. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not, watching one. Time and again have you sent unto me your minions. Yet repel them I have, and so I shall anew, till I might claim the true world as mine own. Why do you not draw your blade? This battle shall be o'er, before it has even begun! You seek not my death. 
Then you are not of the Watching One. I am Rothas, founder of the Kingdom of Vermund. And you appear to be a reason. Tell me your reason for coming here. God's way. Hmm. Speak you of those trinkets conjured by the wizards of Batal. Even from these depths, I have beheld the Batali scuttling about, gathering their fragments. It is a baleful, maddening act to transmute the fractured souls of Arisen into such frivolous baubles. Aye, that which you seek is a soul much like your own. Yet rarely will you find one intact, for splinters are all the remain of those pitiful arisen, who were bade come here by the Watching One to end me. The flesh may rot, the soul fragment, yet power, power endures. And would seem the Batali seek to augment this power through their perverted arts. Though to what nefarious end, I know not. Yet tis folly, the frolicking of children. Such a trinket could ne'er hope to fell the dragon, let alone the watching one. I know little of your intent. But I sense in you a powerful will. A will that urges you towards fulfillment of some great feat. I shall grant you this blade. It too is the soul of an arisen. Mine own, in fact. Refined in purest dragon blood. Alas. The ages have taken their toll. Tis as withered as mine own flesh. Yet, mayhap, the Batali's profane magics would be capable of drawing forth its late potency. If that is what you seek, Arisen, then go on to their stronghold. I believe tis there you shall find the means to achieve it. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon.
carry stone in hand. We can travel wheresoever we please. Tis not an item to be squandered. I assume we will require some manner of tool in order to operate this mechanism. Perhaps we've already found something we could use. Let us check our pack to be doubly sure. Heed your senses. If aught feels out of place, it could very well be a trap. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. Tis locked, Arisen. We must needs find the key. As a matter of fact,
caught you. You'll be all right now. A profitable endeavor. I should be glad to assist you, Arisen. We are none of us alike. It what is it? If you're looking for Lord Ambrosius, he's already returned to his research. Though, from what I understand, he's still willing to pay for blue crystal shards. If you find any, bring them to him at the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome, know that... We shall remain here. I mustn't let this get out of hand. The only person I believe in is myself. May this prayer bring the people salvation. The pursuit of betterment is an endless journey. Halt! Entry beyond this point is only permitted to researchers in the laboratory's employ. It is clear at a glance that you are not one of them, as you do not wear the provided uniform. I've got my eye on you. Do not dare to think that you could slink your way in. I'd sooner stay out of battle where it costs. What was the missive that just arrived? Oh, you know. The usual. From Vermond. 
bound straight for the archives, not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Do we get any other deliveries today, perchance? Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters. Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondences. You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you that if word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. Why is Vermin funding our research? I don't know. True, but I heard a rumor that tis all part of a plot to put the prince, though I suppose he's the regent kin over there, on the throne. What? Where did he hear that rubbish? Tis only what I heard, but you're quite right. It doesn't make much sense. I suppose tis a rumor best ignored, after all. I do wonder what the director's plotting, but... <sighs> Frankly, as long as Batal is left out of it, I don't rightly care what he gets up to. This is all wrong. What use are pitiful fragments such as these? But what we have achieved is sufficient to sway the pawns. But when the time comes to fell the dragon, I fear it may not be enough. Lord Phasus insists we shall succeed, and yet... Ah, a new hand, are you? Have you some business with me? Why? Tis an arisen's. This... This is incredible. I've never seen such a luster. But why do you possess such a thing? Where did you obtain it? No, never mind. Tis of no consequence. All that matters is this. With this alone, I shall be able to craft a superior godsway, the finest of all created to date. I must make haste that I might deliver it to Lord Phasus even a moment sooner. But wait, no. I have not the worm's life crystals to restore it. Concern it all! <laughs> Oh, don't be ridiculous. Do you even understand what you are offering? Worm's life crystals can only be obtained from drakes. But I suppose I am in no position to decline, even if tis a fool's errand. Lord Phasus is satisfied with the god's way as tis, you see. And as I can expect no support from him, you can expect little aid from me. 
Though I suppose twouldn't do to send you away entirely empty-handed. Feel free to take what you require from the laboratory. Now, as I've said, Worm's Life Crystals can only be obtained from Drake's and their ilk. Seek one out and fell it, if tis within your power. All the better if it happens to be a lesser dragon. You would be solving two of my problems, then. find more manuscripts on this topic. longer I can keep the inn open. It's tough, do come again. This task is our responsibility. We must strive to see it fulfilled.
An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. It would allow us to save our strength. Assuming we're not attacked, that is. We shall await you here, Master. I mustn't let this get out of hand. Heavens heed this wish for all us. I better get to work. Dull days for us are assigned to all. You've returned. Have you obtained any Worm's Life crystals? You have? Incredible! That is no small feat. I must admit, I had not thought you much chance of success. Yet here you are, and this this is precisely what I require to complete my work. I shan't delay. Come by again tomorrow. By then, I will have produced a god's way of unparalleled quality. What is it? I suppose I'm tired. Sitting around all day. Left the wing. I think I earned a rest. I'm not risking my life for a pittance. Dull days for us are assigned all. Oh, it is finished. The result is even more sublime than I'd hoped. <laughs> I must deliver it to Lord Phasus at once. Though, mayhap. Now, I cannot leave this in your hands. I may not be fleet of foot, but only I can do this. changed my mind. You take it. Deliver the blade to Lord Faces. You ought reach him in time. Go now. Make haste for Moonglint Tower. There your journey will come to an end. One way or another. Search shall save the world entire. 
Where to now? Ah, the perfect spot to sit and think a while. Dull days for us are assigned. The only thing Kerr is good for is pulling in a scrap. It is high time I began my meditation. A minute now, and I sense getting cold for thinking. Uh, well, this is no good. What to do? What to do? Well, Let's take it easy good. today. Can't let myself get stuck. It seems we must part ways for the time being. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? Twould seem my mother has joined hands with a Batali researcher to achieve her purpose. Which, according to this missive, is to arrange things so that I might rule the kingdom. But I don't understand. Vermont needs no consul. It's found its ruler, its sovereign, pretender though he may be. To say naught of you. Does she mean to remove you and the false sovereign both from the picture? Is that what is meant by this tragedy? Tis a frightful thought. Yet we are in a much stronger position for having learned of it. You've my gratitude for this. I now know what tis I must do.
My mind is apt to stray. Even here. Pray, take care if you travel to Batal. My sword arm could use some work. When does my watch end? Really a good I've clean forgotten. Where does the road call you? Do tell. You're welcome to stay a while. Thank you. You're welcome to stay a while. Why not rest your weary feet? going on. Not much going on. Must be Time to be heading home. Days, this ox cart's bound. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. Is this your most beloved you bring before me? Well, very good. Not half bad. Yet only one you bring. I thought you capable of more. A promise made, a promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. Come to test your wits. The pain. 
parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent, such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. Don't you air tire of running to and fro? You're welcome to stay a while. Why not rest your weary feet? I have been waiting for you, Arisen. We've an opening. Focus your attacks. Focused attack will end this foe.
enemy retreats. Avoid flame at any cost, sir. You have been doused in oil. I'm on my way. Resist if you can. Confidence and cooperation gave us an edge against our foe. At times, I find myself wondering why we must... ...fight against our fellows. Indeed, you are correct. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might.
it slept beneath the sea all this time. Retreat soon. I fear we are all lost. We all press on, my lord. Mine's not the stone puppets, then. We move. It arose from the sea. What could have summoned it? Remove it by force. If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aid. Why might I be of assistance? Beware, it is a foe you have not yet encountered. Poison will be cured with all due haste. Well fought, Poison.
I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Oi! You're not planning on going in there, are you? You're better off turning back. That cavern is not for mortal feet to tread. Tis a maze, with monsters round every wretched corner. I dare say none could pass through those tunnels and live to tell the tale. A cry and shame tis. Fuse the merchant who can cross yon bridge. I'd thought this my chance to make some decent coin. Let us attack with the full sum of our strength. We must try to delay its course by any means. I am shamed. I shall strive to be more diligent in future, Arisen. I'm glad to have you back by our side. Blighter. Unless there's coin in it, I'm not interested. Oh, oh, let my magics grant you an elemental boon. My word, this ox cart has been destroyed. The work of goblins, mayhap? We must remain vigilant. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Tis a glad thing we lost in what we did. We must not let down our bond. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. 
The battle continues. The paths to victory are myriad indeed. That strategy never would have occurred to me. Stay down your arms. You keep your life, and I'll take the rest. Our fire magics for another time, then. Where have you gone? Turn out your pockets! Hand over all the coin in your purse now. We might as well have one. purpose does yon statue serve, I wonder? Mayhap these statues are landmarks for travelers. I learned of a forgotten driftstone in this area during my time beyond the game. I can take you to it. He thinks we could move this boulder if we worked together. Would anyone care to push?
Gigantus appears to have fallen. Let us hasten to Moonglint Tower. True enough. Mayhap tis time. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat. Battle is best avoided here.
That battle took more out of me than I would have liked. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Take the power of ice and turn it against our foes. in service to the Arisons. I concur. The battle is to be avoided, I take it, Arisen. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. There was a time I myself bore that title. There was a time I my... You've my gratitude. Now we've the Vim to tackle the day ahead. Though you wouldn't know it to look at me now. We've little need for a campsite. We shall be ill prepared for battle if we rest over much. Hail Arisen. Allow me to join you in this trial.
freshly rested in the oven. This battle ought to be in our favor. I grant your weapon a magical boon. achieved remarkable synchronicity. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down.
Observe our foe before you strike. Lashing out at random shards the us to victory.
Yet however many I call, the emptiness refuses to fill. For these beasts are but crude imitations of the dragon true. Tis a style all my own. A patchwork of techniques honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. Now. Though you wouldn't know it to look at me now. This material can be used to enhance equipment, and is a rarity besides. We shall have... ...to think long and hard about what to do with it. I have a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll craft all I can using what To charge ahead may be to rush headlong into danger. Let us take care to move as one. You, you are arisen, are you not? If you catch sight of the dragon, report to me, I. That's it. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? Mayhap tis time we met with this Lord Phasus. Shall we make the Moonblint Tower? Pray, allow me to show you the way. Over here, if you would. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow.
wonder what rumors the morrow has. It sets my thoughts down dark paths. Well met, sir. For bread and board, you'll find none better. We must rest, though the sun is still. I return safe. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. The beast shan't survive our next move. I see it in your eyes. You are ready to learn. And so I shall teach you a technique. Use it well. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. There was a time I myself bore that title. Tomorrow will just be more of the same. Though you wouldn't know it. We share much as prisoners of the same fate. There was a time I'm... Nothing. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use.
journey will be a long one. What say we employ an ox cart and save our feet the blisters? A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the... F Are you in the market for something in particular? Always a pleasure. This might be worth a read. Let's have a look then. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to us. You. Always a pleasure. 